Good day, everybody. Welcome to Fly Man Dan Adventures. Out here in the Everglades National Park. Got a little bit of a late start today because I was camping way up on the Tamiami Trail. The weather and the fishing uh, didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I like to camp close to where I want to fish, so... Oh, we're going to give this place a try. Uh, the place I really want to try is uh, out in the wind. This is a small pond inside the Everglades that has bass, tarpon, and snook. Whatever else bites, coming at you. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, oh, good strong fish, good strong fish, all right, all right, look like a little snooky. my kayak today out in the Everglades and got me a little snooky under the mangrove with a little diesel minnow and just want to show you again uh, the front rod holder setup I have here put these two little PVC pipes here so I can just put the rod down when I'm changing lures or when I'm catching a fish all right buddy come on gotcha 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 goodbye snooky that was cool. Skipped it underneath the mangroves and uh, I saw the flash of the snook and I set the hook, never felt the bite. Now there's a gator's head sitting right where I just caught that fish. Ah, you gotta battle gators down here. <laughs> you got the wind, you got the weather, you got the water temperature, you got all kinds of things. And then you got gators looking for free handouts. Man, its head is right where I just cast my lure. Uh, they just sit around and when they hear some splashing noises, they come out to see what the heck it was. Something hit it. Threw on a chatterbait. Something hit it. Got it again. There we go. There we go. Something good. Something on there. Fish on, fish on. Feels like a big bass to me. Nope, snook time. Snook time. 
Chatterbait does it again. Where is he? Oh, he is. Chatterbait does it again. Whew, good fish. Good fish. The guy told me there wasn't any snook. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Snook number two, he swallowed that thing. Way down in there. All right. That's why we bought these long nose blighters. He was not nibbling. Z Man Michael Chatterbait. All right. <laughs> All right, looks like I made the right choice so far. Two snook real quick. We got a lot of lake to cover. Guarantee those snook have not seen uh, a micro chatterbait swimming by their face. Got to retie this one. Pretty sure this uh, lake is man-made, and it's dredged out pretty good. And over here is a really shallow flat with grass. And there's a wall right here, and I was fishing right on the edge of the wall, and uh, he crashed it. I had another bite before he hit it. Oh, I had a tarpon. I wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> fish on, fish on. What do we got? Oh, it looks like a bass. This one looks like a bass. <laughs> this one looks like a bass. Can you? Ugh. All right. Well, we got uh, a couple of snook. Hook the tarpon. Now a largie. A chatterbait. Nice little 13 incher. All right, <laughs> having some fun. Now well, they're on this chatterbait today. They're all on the chatterbait today. This gar grabbing the tail.
All right. Another smallish one. Another smallish one, but they're fun. Everglades snook on a chatterbait. Again, he has his way down his throat. Goodbye, little guy. Those are fun. Those are fun. I want that tarpon now. Damn Winky sw swinging the boat around. Oh, something creamed it. Something creamed it. What is it? A gar? Looks like a gar. Oh, yeah. Well, another species for the mix. Another species for the mix. My first gar in a chatterbait. <laughs> if I can get it out without ruining my lure. Come on, you fall off my button. Cichlid on a chatterbait. Another species for my chatterbait <laughs> collection. Look at the colors on that guy. Nice. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are so freaking strong fish. Fish is so strong. Look at the colors on that guy. Going a little slow down for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, but uh, I keep getting hits and I feel they're from gar. I proved that there's gar in here by bringing that one in. Gar hit the hit hard, but uh, they, they miss a lot because they have a really small mouth and it's really hard and bony, and there's not a lot of places for a hook to stick in. <laughs> Z Man Chatterbait. It's not just for bass. <laughs> Come on, stay on, baby. Tarpon. <laughs> Come on, stay on, baby. Tarpon. <laughs> and on the chatterbait. <laughs> Tarpon on the chatterbait. Stay on, baby. Good one. Oh! <laughs> uh. Micro chatterbait. Very fine wire hook, so it's probably hard to get in that tough bony mouth of a tarpon. Maybe I should go to the Mini Max. It's got a little heavier hook. Hook's sharp though. Did bend out, so. Well, if we lose another one, we'll maybe we'll switch over, but 
That was fun. All right, I'm switching over to the Mighty Max Chatterbait. It's a quarter ounce, a little heavier, but still. But it's got a little heavier hook. I feel that with tarpon, if you use a light wire hook, when you set the hook, it, it flexes maybe a little bit. It doesn't drive. Hopefully, uh, we'll see if the hookup ratio on tarpon go up with this. There you go. Another one on. Oh, good. Another one on. Staying down a little bit. What do we got here? What do we got here? We're staying down. Oh, tarpon. <laughs> oh, it fooled me. I fooled me. Coming through in a little wave, I guess. I gotta learn how to bow to these uh, tarpon. <laughs> Well, so far I made the right choice. I had three different places to choose from, but the wind uh, was bad in the other two places. And uh, I decided to come here. Uh, a fellow that left earlier told me he only got hooked one tarpon and didn't get any snook or see any snook for a while. Well, I got three snook, a bass, a gar, and jumped a couple tarpon. So that's uh, in less than an hour have all that fish action. Let's keep it going. Fish on, fish on, come on, be something good. A little snooky. A little snooky. Alright. Back on the board. <laughs> A little snooky. Alright, snook number four. Chatterbait. They've been getting it really far down their throat. A little juvenile. Bye-bye. Alright, last time I got one, I got a nice wave of a few coming through. And a few tarpon were in there with them. and uh, then head on back home tomorrow.